Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Out of the Way, we will be taking a look at my Star Wars collection room. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to drop a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. So I will finally be relocating once again, but this time to my forever collection room in the near future. And in the meantime, I wanted to show you how my current setup looks and just share that with everyone as many people have asked for a video. So let's begin with my town and diorama, which is the main focal point of my collection room. And here we have the cantina that I've kind of made using the Navarro cantina set that we got and then kind of just elaborating on it and adding pillars and all sorts of different things to it to really make it feel like an actual cantina. And here you can see we have a bunch of different characters, lots of scum and villainy in here. We've got young Lando trying to put the moves on someone and just, you know, just a bunch of different like drinkers and patrons who come to this cantina. You can see a number of different custom aliens as well that I've made and just you know a bunch of characters living it up in this cantina so it's a really nice one um, I really like this setup I also really appreciate all the little accessories that came with the Navarro cantina that kind of made this possible you can see some custom signage there that I've made myself uh, I did all the artwork and illustrator and then just printed them out that skylight is one of my favorite focal points as you know this cantina just has a lot of different lines of sight that make it feel like an actual environment so moving on to the outside, we have more of the same here. Lots of different aliens and like kit bash customs, a couple acid rain figures, and just, you know, a very healthy environment of lots of characters. We have this droid repair area. I printed off that sign, designed it. And this is kind of an area that I wanted to have Jawas with lots of different like, you know, materials and droid repair stuff going on um and then of course there's always going to be skirmishes in the star wars universe so you can see the mando back there and sabine and just a bunch of different chaos going on also zutton over here cooking up a little dinner here's a cal kestis that i kind of kit bash to look more like the original look that we saw then we have Watto here just kind of selling some goods We've got my IG-11 there with a custom bag. Pretty much just sliced up the one that came with the Scout Trooper and made it work for that scene. So moving on, we had the Ronto in the back as well as some mercenaries and we got a sign that says food. Uh, I thought it would be cool to have, you know, like a food court area over there in that back alley. And then you got more characters like the Amanda Man from the Legacy Collection over here. We've got the new vintage collection Cad Bane, but with the old Clone Wars Cad Bane Toto. Really hope we see some more Clone Wars versions of Bane in the vintage collection sometime soon. Really good figure. And then moving on to the back, we've got some market stands over here with different aliens and characters just buying goods and services. And then you got some guards over here guarding that building. And moving along, you can see some skirmishes. Got some Imperial Stormtroopers who are about to arrest that Rodian in the back over there. And then some more like fruit stands and stuff like that. This food cart right here is really cool. All those things come from Empire Tour Works. He makes some wonderful world building accessories. Then we have this frog person that I made. Really cool character. Um, that head is from Scoundrel Stock. He does some really good 3D prints. If you ever want to make uh, custom kit bash characters. And then you can see that this town has like multiple levels to it. It just really has a lot of different things going on. Lots of characters, lots of energy. And yeah, I really, really enjoy having this display. And one thing that I really liked is this is the first building I ever kind of built for this thing. And I wanted it to have an interior. I just didn't want it to be like a backdrop. I kind of wanted it to have some function. So as you can see, you can go in it, go up some stairs, take that uh, walkway to the other side. And it's just got, you know, a lot of architecture going on. And this piece actually is removable. So I can't take that off if I kind of move all the stuff out of the way and actually get in there and take some shots if I want. But taking a look in here, you can see the stairwell. Got it like a little table in there with just some mercenaries kind of guarding stuff. And yeah, I just always have really enjoyed this building. It's got lots of lines of sight, as you can see. And it's just, you know, a little interactive. So cool stuff there. Uh, here you can see another custom alien squid head, as well as this snivy in here. This is one of my favorite uh, mechanics that I've made. And then here's some more Jawas. This is kind of my Jawa crossing area which is a different group from the other Jawas that we saw in the beginning of this video. These are the off-world ones that we got with the Mandalorian in that release, so I just wanted them to be a little separate of the other gang. Here you can see my recent custom uh, skiff guards that have updated articulation. <laughs> They're beating up a 
little droid that might have stolen something from Fat Bib Fortuna or something. And then here you can see one of my custom Jawas that has better articulation by using a quill as a base body. And yeah, there's lots of different things going on here. You've got tons of droids. These Jawas also, for some reason, have xenomorphs and face huggers that they are. I don't know farming or something like that and then lots of different like junk items that they're just selling and then you can see in the back i've got cassian and vel as well as like obi-wan and just other random characters all throughout this diorama here's another custom snivian uh another 3d printed head that i put on a solo body kind of really you know did a number on him by painting him up giving him different bandolier and stuff like that and then here's another simple kit bash it's just one of the skiff guards with Woof's head and then a pauldron from one of the gaming great stormtroopers. And then we have some more Quarren over here. And then here are my Hammerhead Ethorian customs. These are really cool characters. Um, I've always really liked the one in the like Bosque like uh, flight suit. Just something about him looks really cool. Although he's about to get gunned down by Cad Bane. And that's a custom Cad Bane that I kind of kit bash with the Clone Wars one and the new release. And then we have some dark troopers and different Imperial troops back here, kind of guarding that area. That's uh, something that's under Imperial occupation over there. And then we have the new uh, speeder bike, the remnant version, as well as Boba Fett. Uh, or sing more customs over here definitely have a lot of customs because this town as you can see is pretty sizable so it's going to need a lot of different people to kind of populate it and then here we have my e-web setup which i just really like that there's something about all those troopers setting up that e-web that just looks really cool in my opinion and then lots of different characters here we got another rodian who's in trouble seems like the rodians in this town are always getting uh, arrested or something like that and here we have another bar so i wanted to have you know like a neighboring other side of the tracks type of bar and this one is Zutton's it's a Snivian bar and there you can see Zutton he's the owner he's behind the bar working he's also got an IG unit and a couple other droids who kind of help him out while he runs this uh, watering hole for everyone and all these aliens mercenaries and town people are really gonna need you know somewhere to hang out and kind of drink and just you know cause ruckus here in the back you can see Figger and Dan and his band they're on tour so they decided to play at Zutton's because you know they got a cantina relationship here's another custom alien which is a real easy kit bash using a figure and dan and wandering obi-wan and then on the walls here you can see these posters that i printed out they're originally from rebels and they're available online i printed them out kind of sized them how i wanted in adobe illustrator and then kind of made them wet so they were like easy to damage up and yeah they just add a lot to my walls i thought they were pretty cool kind of like this uh face hugger right there on that pillar so yeah, this is the first level of my town. And then moving on up here, we have, of course, some more aliens, Imperial troops, and lots of stuff always going down. Here we have this Weequay who's in trouble with Shea Vizsla. You got Boba Fett here, Kersantan, and the Mandalorian. This one is kind of a simple custom using um, the bags that come with the remnant troopers. I sliced off that top again and I think it's a, a nice stand-in until you know we ever get in a definitive version of him when he was on um, Corvus and walking around with Grogu. I've always wanted that bag but yeah. So in the back here you can see the T-16. We got this Y-Wing here. Got some more aliens kind of conversing. Got these control panels and doors. Those are all from Crazy D Customs who I've shared in the video before. He does some great 3D printed walls and stuff like that if you're ever looking. And then here we have a nice skirmish between some of my favorite Jedi. We got Cal Kestis, Luke from the Mandalorian, and Ahsoka taking on a number of Imperial troops dark troopers and yeah lots of droid action going on there as well as the e can e web cannon trying to gun them down and then we get to this landing platform this is something that i was really happy to add to the town it's a big landing platform that's just a nice place for me to kind of change it up every once in a while have some ships land here and lots of characters like hera sabine and chopper who are talking to that pit droid who i don't know Maybe he messed up something, but yeah, you can see lots of different vehicles and stuff. I've got, of course, the N1 Starfighter here looking pretty good. I like the acrylic stand that it came with, but I thought it would look better without that black bottom base. So I took that off and it kind of balances pretty well. So now I have it kind of in flight taken off from this landing platform. And yeah, I think it looks really cool, especially with all my lighting kind of reflecting off of it. 
Here we have Dr. Afra and her droids kind of hanging out with an IG unit in the background. We've also got some more Figure and Dan type characters. This Biff over here playing the Gungan horn. He's kind of just like a lone musician doing his thing on the landing platform between, I don't know, servicing ships. And then in the back, you can see more droids like Ned B and some of those earlier um, special edition droids from the Power of the Force. And yeah, I just really like this landing platform. It's a, it's a nice focal point as well. And then moving on, we got the second level of my original structure, which hasn't changed much. I pretty much keep it displayed like this. You got those porgs being sold in the background, a couple cantina aliens here. I did add that lighting underneath the third level, if you will, that kind of helps illuminate this from the last time I kind of really showed off this collection room tour. Here's a Panda Baba that I kind of like kit bashed using Hondo's body to give him better articulation. I still need to paint his jacket though. And then here you can see the older one in the back, which uh, we just really need a new version of that character. Here's Wilro, kind of eating some food, but, you know, talking to some ladies, kind of doing his thing. And then we got this other Snivian over here, which is kind of a really cool one. <laughs> he stole the Cad Bane hat, he's got Lando's cape, and he was just like, you know what, I want to be real stylish, but I also want to gun some people down from this balcony. So, yeah, lots of... Lots of different characters hanging out over here, and if you take a nice view, it just looks really cool from like an aerial shot. Then moving on to the next level, we have more of the same. We've got this Twi'lek healing bath here, and there's that Twi'lek hanging out trying to sell the healing bath, but Cassian and Jyn are, you know, causing ruckus out front. Then moving on, we've got another food stand here, got Quill, lots of different aliens. I think that area right there is kind of like a gun depot, and then we've got these remnant troopers just doing a patrol. And then moving on, we've got more different characters. Got that Acid Rain character, kind of hanging out with Captain Rex. We've got these Jawas from the Power of the Force, which I thought would look cool here. Despite being older figures, I do like that like light up eyes thing. It's just a nice little effect. And then we have more of the troopers that we've been seeing recently, like the Mortar Guy. Then my attempt at a Night Trooper in the back. I can't wait to get official releases of those, but yeah. In the meantime, those two remnants back there just have some red markings on them. And then we have some Predator characters, which are from Haya Toys. I like to have Haya Toys stuff kind of sprinkled about. I've got those two Predators. There was a Xenomorph further back, but I didn't kind of focus in on him. He was like up in a rafter, but yeah. I like to mix in a little bit of non-Star Wars stuff into this town and just connect those universes. And then we have Grand Admiral Thrawn and Morgan Elspeth with a bunch of AK droids, kind of just, you know, ready to wreak havoc on the galaxy and then we got this really cool custom here of this duro guy that i made and lots of different characters more aliens as you can see there's a big theme in this town which is just a hodgepodge of you know scum and villainy different aliens different characters all hanging out in this spaceport and yeah moving on up we have a different shelf display and this one's a bit of a phantom menace focus here we have the trade federation battle tank which is one of my favorite vehicles and we have some fambas i was able to pick up two of these and they're absolutely wonderful we also have a bunch of gungans here and i really hope to see a better version of that character without swivel hips someday we also need a proper battle droid in the vintage collection because i would really like to have a nice battle of naboo here you have the naboo starfighter and then moving on we've got the tie bomber we've got the vintage collection big tie fighter which is a great vehicle and we also have darth vader's tie elite and here you can see that older rogue one version of darth vader which isn't really great so i kind of just put them up here kind of a little further away out of uh, view and we have a tie fighter here we've got some of those recent imperial officers from the four pack and i thought they would just be good ones to place up there since i have multiple versions of those characters now because you know they put unique characters in there but anywho moving on here's a nice aerial view of the landing pad again looking really good lots of different industrial vibes going on there and then moving on over here we have some more up high shelves that i put a bunch of creatures and vehicles so here's where i have my rancors currently we have the one from the return of the jedi of course the most iconic one and um then we have my favorite one which is the felucian one from force unleashed which is just a great figure and it also came with this really interesting alien you know those pollutions look really really crazy and then we also have the revenge of the sith critter that obi-wan rides around on which is another good one to have and here's my uh boba fett slave one from the book of boba fett it's a pretty good vehicle but i didn't know where to really put him and then we have poe dameron's x-wing which is a phenomenal vehicle and i really really like this one it's a great release and i got a plan for a custom one that you 
you guys might want to check out that video when it drops so I need to get to that project but you know getting there and then here's my obi-wan and vader from the series which i don't know i just kind of placed them up here and then we have darth revan a recent release really great and here you can see i've kind of started a soft goods hood for him which i need to perfect and i'm definitely going to share that with you guys but here's a bunch of you know uh knights of the old republic characters that i just kind of wanted to have all together finally and just place them up here and then we have the clone wars y-wing which is quite a big vehicle i never really realized until i had one how big it is but it's a great vehicle but just really big so kind of hard to display it takes up a lot of space maybe one day i'll have a docking bay for it and just have a bunch of clones around it but for now it's kind of up here I also would not be opposed to a 501st repaint of this vehicle. But moving on, we have some carded figures here. We have Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. We've got Zutton, who, if you're not a fan of Zutton, I feel really bad for you because he's amazing. Um, and then moving on down, we have the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, which was a really good figure that kind of like really brought a lot of energy back to the vintage collection in my opinion but yeah so moving on over here we have my desk area where I work and kind of make these videos and edit photos and all that and you know I like to have some inspiration close by so I got a bunch of figures on my desk nothing too much to keep it not too cluttered but here you can see some Clone Wars Death Watch Mandalorians led by Pre Vizsla a really nice release and it's great to finally have you know the leader of Death Watch kind of in action in the vintage collection and then we have the ATAT -AT over here which is a really cool vehicle as well as that mission fleet uh, Mandalorian starfighter which I really would love to see one of those in vintage collection then we have the rescue set as well as uh, Paz Vizsla and a bunch of other just Mandalorian figures that I think are really really superb figures and releases in the vintage collection and then we have some more Haya toy stuff because I'm kind of a fan of not only this franchise but what they kind of bring to some 118th scale like figures and releases so you got the alien queen here very classic character and some xenomorphs that I just want to have on my desk but I also don't really know where to put them so that's kind of why they're there and then moving on this area right here is for an upcoming holiday gift so definitely be on the lookout for that video as I share what I picked up and then we have the two packs here which look really nice with that art and then we have the Maldo crease set which I still don't have a proper place for this I hope to build a nice diorama for it but for now he's right there and then we have my favorite vehicle the ATAT -AT, which is just a glorious vehicle um, there's not much you can say about it it's you know nice big it's got electronics and yeah it's a really 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 nice release and then of course we have a probe droid with it because you know Hoth you got to put them together and then in the back here you can see a bunch of different boxes from the deluxe things that we've gotten and just a lot of stuff that we've gotten over the past year and then moving up here we've got some carded figures we've got um fat boy fortuna we've got um hunter the only member of the bad batch we've got an r2d2 and then of course my antoc merrick and his droid because they need to be protected and I put them together up there and then taking a look here we have my entire Mandalorian carded collection which is always nice to step back and take a look at uh, we've got all these characters here and I usually don't like star cases because you know you can see this reflection in here but for some reason this wall is not you know really easy to put push pins in so I have to use kind of like these 3m hooks and they have one or two of them have kind of like fallen off so to make sure they're protected I have them in these star cases but you know at the same time star cases are cool here you can see both versions of Mig Mayfield the one with the red armband which he wasn't supposed to have and the other one that I did pick up so I wanted to kind of have those two there since it's kind of a variant and then yeah lots of different characters imperial luke there got morak boba uh Casca reeves we've got the deluxe pack which you know i do kind of like this deluxe pack how it has a bubble i wish it was a little smaller but i definitely prefer it over the boxes and then some of the recent ones and my razor crest figures which of course those are good ones to have carded and then moving on over here, we have the Millennium Falcon, which is one of the most impressive vehicles we have in the vintage collection. Just the level of detail on this thing, and it's just such a wonderful looking ship that makes me really excited for the upcoming HasLab Ghost. I'm definitely gonna have to have a nice display area for it. And either I'm gonna put it on a shelf like this, or I'm gonna make a separate landing platform over in the town diorama to put it on. But moving down here, we have kind of my open Luke Skywalker collection. I just have all of these versions of Luke, kind of like in a timeline of his uh, his like destiny, if you will. And then we've got other random figures here that just don't have a place. But uh, yeah, same thing going on down here. We got some more Imperial troops. Some of these are 
you know, ones that I just don't know where I want to put either. Kind of like the Mim Bam Troopers. And then I've got these Carbonized Death Troopers, which look pretty cool, but I don't know. I just kind of have them over here. Same thing with those Elite Squad Troopers. And then moving down here, I've got my 330 second display. I did buy a lot of those and I wanted to recreate that scene where Rex shows them off to Ahsoka. So most of them are over here. And then we have the Carbon Freezing Chamber Set, which looks wonderful when it's properly illuminated. I really appreciate Hasbro using that uh, translucent acrylic to really, you know, help that light come through and just bring all those vibes of Cloud City to this display. Hopefully one day we see a proper Empire Strikes Back Boba and Darth Vader to kind of complete that set, but yeah. Then we have my main display, which many of you are probably familiar with if you watch my videos. And here we have Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader from the showdown. I thought they would look cool on top of this ATAT, -AT, which is the Vintage Collection Endor release, which is a really, really nice vehicle. One of my favorites for sure. Just lots of detail here. And this one is a, has the muddy feet, which make it different, but you know, those could be better. And then here we have Starkiller, who's like part of this giant imperial kind of like dark Sith display of mine. Got some royal guards back there, inquisitors, dark troopers, just anything really fierce that was part of the empire. And yeah, here you have that uh, release for the throne room Palpatine, which wasn't great, but one day maybe I'll make a better display. And then we have these shadow troopers, which are some of my favorite, just because that plastic illumination like effect they have on them is great. Then we have Revan, some more Sith over here. We've got um, this custom back to tank that I made. And yeah, that's a really nice display, one of my favorites. And then moving on down, we have my Endor display, which uh, kind of did some tutorials showing you how to like make your bunker look more weathered and painted up better, as well as these tree dioramas. And yeah, this is everything kind of put together for now. I'm definitely planning on making this twice as big at least and doing like a full like background with lots of different trees and shrubs. But hopefully we see more characters to help fill out this display, like some proper Endor troopers and more Ewoks. It would be good to see those in the vintage collection. But moving on down, we have my Hoth display, which is another one that I want to make bigger and better in the future. Hopefully we can see some definitive versions of these characters, like the Rebel Hoth trooper, who's okay, but could use better articulation. Right now it's got swivel hips, which is just a bummer. And here you can see the Vintage Collection Snowspeeder. I've got it propped up on an acrylic pipe so it looks like it's flying. And then moving on over here, we have a Wampa taking out some troopers. And then we have some snow troopers, which is another character that really needs a proper update and release in the Vintage Collection to, you know, really help a lot of us make a proper health hot display. Um, a lot of people love this battle and I think it's one that deserves proper troopers. And next we have from the micro series, my Tiger Shark Republic gunship, which is a really nice release and one that I'm very happy to have, as well as having the ARC troopers with it, which, you know, they could have been better, unfortunately, now that we got a better clone mold, but I digress. And then here we have a bunch of different Mandalorians, as well as extra walls from my cantina that, you know, I got the Navarro Cantina mostly for a lot of the accessories. So I had extra walls that I didn't feel like, you know, weathering up, but yeah, that's what those are. And then we have my Jedi down here, a bunch of different characters. A lot of them do need upgrades as they're getting a little dated. You know, most of them have swivel hips and I really hope to see a lot more prequel characters in the vintage collection with proper releases in the future. But moving on down here, we've got some more prequel stuff. We got the Separatist forces. I cannot wait for a proper Dooku, which is finally coming. I would love to see Dirge. I don't think that'll happen, but you never know. And then we have, you know, the Separatist leaders in the back, which are another character I don't think will get an upgrade. I would like Grievous to get an upgrade as that figure doesn't have the best legs and just could be better in my opinion. And then moving down here, we have my prisoner skip and then some other random creatures. We got Anakin and his speeder. It would be nice to, you know, put a couple more Tuskins over here maybe, but I don't know. I'm going to rearrange some of this stuff when I move. Uh, and then we have, you know, the prisoner skiff, which is finally complete. It's so nice to finally have Velkin Taziri and just finish that off. Hopefully I can open my second one and we can populate that and complete that second skiff as well. So that's pretty much this display. And yeah, there's some really good stuff. But moving on to this upper shelf, we have a lot more things to see. We've got some Sith Troopers here, which could use some better articulation in my opinion. We've also got all the Boba Fetts that were released, and then the original Slave 1. We've got my Tantum 4 display here with some Stormtroopers coming on in and taking out all these Rebels. And yeah, it's a really good display. We've also got some sequel trilogy stuff here, not a lot. 
and then we've got some more TIE Fighters and Pilots and the ATST that was released, as well as the TIE Interceptor Elite. We've got my Kersantan box there and another TIE Interceptor. And of course the Mandalorian ATST, which is a really good vehicle and I was glad to get it. I'm also glad that they re-released it. But moving on, we have this carded display in the corner, which is a bunch of different things that I really like. Here we have my skiff guards, which I actually put some of the older ones into spares of this four pack. And I think it's a really nice way of displaying them. It's a little challenging to see in this corner right now because of the reflections, but yeah, I really like those. And then we have my Imperial Troop carded collection. This is every single troop that's been released in the vintage collection except for the rogue one tank commander because he is really expensive and hard to find but yeah i really like stormtroopers on cards i really like you know the look of the empire and i kind of just wanted to have a carded sample of every one of these characters because they look amazing i don't think there's anyone who doesn't like the way that the empire looks like stormtroopers are very you know iconic and just yeah the vaders we're getting the imperial officers we're getting these days are just top notch so i definitely want to have all of those on card um but yeah i hope to get that uh, rogue one release someday and then the clone wars which is some of my favorite media so of course i'm keeping all of these characters nicely carded because yeah i just really appreciate the clone wars and also like when we got this ahsoka and maul that was just like, a nice turning point in my opinion of getting characters with rocker ankles and proper ball joints so yeah unfortunately we've seen some hefty repaints in terms of VC-45, but you know, I can't be too mad because we also got these incredible Mandalorian characters, which have been top-notch stuff as well. And then, you know, ARC Troopers, which are great. And then pre Vizsla, of course. And then we have these two little extra characters here that I just had them filling in slots for the moment. And then moving on over here, we have the droids release. These are cool cards. They look nice when paired together. Got Boba, C-3PO, and R2-D2. And I, I kind of appreciate those as well as the incredibly annoying uh, special Boba Fetts that we got. They're annoying just because they were so expensive, but yeah, I don't know, happy to have them. And then we have the nice gaming corner right here of just all the gaming figures that we've been seeing recently that I also really appreciate and wanted to have these nicely carded. Uh, again, I have them in star cases just because some are unpunched and I feel bad about unpunching them, so ugh, I might as well just put them in these star cases. But yeah, I'm just not a big fan of how that reflects when you kind of show off your collection room. And then we have my favorite thing to keep carded, which is Luke Skywalker. He is Star Wars, so I wanted to have every Luke Skywalker on card, and I kind of had them in the order of appearance. There's a few from the early days that I'm still kind of missing, but hopefully we get better definitive versions of those. But yeah, Luke Skywalker is something that I really, really appreciate and want to have nicely carded in my collection room because he is, you know, Star Wars. He's very important to the whole saga and just like trilogy and just, yeah, you got to have Luke Skywalker on card. And then going on over here, we have my Ahsoka carded collection, which is a pretty nice start in my opinion, especially when you kind of take a step back and just look at them. And then we have Thrawn because I just, you know, like Thrawn and I like seeing that we got finally a Rebels character into the vintage collection. Moving right along, we have my 501st Trooper display, which you might have seen in some other videos, but not too much has changed here. Uh, I added a couple of those heavy repeating cannons to some of the troopers, and I also put some of those phase two all white troops in here. But for the most part, this is all the same. I got this Republic gunship in here. This display is made of a Joy Toy Mecha Depot. Really good stuff. Look for it on Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon. And then over here, we have my Imperial display, which is a really nice place to have all these troops in formation. All these walls are 3D printed and provided by Crazy D Customs. Definitely check him out. I've got some other videos sharing links and uh, some of his products, but yeah, I always wanted to have a nice display here, kind of like a hangar bay with all these different Imperial troops uh, in formation and kind of like talking to each other and stuff like that. And then we have a second Imperial display, which might be my favorite just because I added that catwalk, which was also provided by Crazy D. And the thing I really like about it is that it adds a second level and just more display options. You can see there's lots of different troopers on the main floor in formation, but the catwalk allows for different stormtroopers to kind of walk patrol, but also other characters to kind of hang out and talk shop and check in with their superiors. So 
really nice stuff and then i just really appreciate how many definitive updates we've been seeing for imperial troops recently with the nice new officer sculpt but also like our stormtrooper has you know proper rocker ankles and stuff so it's been a nice time to kind of build out my imperial display and then here in the back you can see doug chain and the other rebel officer who kind of got caught He's got a speeder bike here and then a bunch of different tank troopers who are getting this uh, vehicle ready to go out on a mission and yeah i just really really like that display moving on over here we have kind of a rebel uh, hangar bay display with uh, a couple x-wings and a wing and this one's kind of a return of the jedi theme you've got more of those characters up here we've also got hera and uh yeah it's just a nice place to, uh, i wanted to put all these rebel troops together i really would like to you know kind of elaborate on this and give it a proper floor and some better walls maybe but that's something i think i'm gonna work on in the future as i like shift around and maybe get more space and just like reconfigure some things because yeah the new room will definitely have a lot more space so i'm looking forward to that and then moving on down here we have another hangar bay which i this one's a little bit more of a new hope. Uh, you see a lot more of those kind of characters because you got Blue Leader in here. It's like closer to that time period. And uh, yeah, more Rebel Fleet Troopers and stuff like that. Moving on over here, we have one of my favorite displays, which originally was a, a diorama that I made for IG-11 and the Mandalorian from that first standoff where the uh, where IG actually shows up. But I reconfigured it and the walls are pretty much the same design as when we saw the Death Watch Troopers save Young Din Djarin. So wanted to make that. And then here is one of my very favorite displays, which is my Mandalorian throne room display, which as you can see here is focused on the Siege of Mandalore, where you have the Death Watch troopers going against the Mandalorians. And you got, also got some 332nd troopers in there and just, yeah, lots of lots of chaos going on in here. One of my favorite displays, which I've showed off, definitely check out that video got troopers in flight here we've got the throne of mandalore back there we've got pre Vizsla in there you know he was dead by that time but i thought it would be appropriate to at least have him somewhere close to this display and then we have my vintage collection razor crest display which is pretty much just a hangar bay that i created for this thing because it's so big but i also wanted to have the mandalorian displayed in his like first appearance because i really like that look it's very grimy and i thought it was just like a nice look for him so i wanted to have him here getting some repairs dropping off those carbonite blocks and just hanging out with a bunch of mercenaries and different scum and villainy but Moving right along, we have another favorite of mine, which is my Jabba's throne room display, which of course I showed off in a very recent video if you want a much more detailed tour of this, but very happy to finally get this set. It's really cool that it wasn't a HasLab and it was offered, you know, as a Pulse exclusive, and it really just helps us all build out this world of Jabba's palace. But yeah, have a lot of different aliens here, all sorts of characters from his palace, and we've got the original little adventure set with the carbonite block, and it's just a nice place to kind of put all these characters and have them gathered up and just interacting with each other but moving right along we have another clone wars type of display and this one is my 212th battalion and they are definitely in the middle of a firefight here they got one of those creatures from attack of the clones that's kind of like wreaking havoc on them and at the same time they're taking out some federation droids and yeah here you can see those re heavy repeating cannons that i kind of put with some of these troopers and once again, we really need a proper battle droid. I would like to have more than one that can barely stand, but yeah, I don't know, I digress. Moving on here, we have another clone display, this one with my ATTE and a bunch of the phase one troopers. These ones aren't that great because they're the VC45 mold and I'm actually a little disappointed, you know, that they had us buy a bunch of these four packs and then we saw an updated clone mold later, so. Didn't really go too crazy on those, but at the same time, I, I'm going to keep them displayed because they do kind of fill out the scene, but I definitely look forward to putting better versions of that character in here. And then moving on, we have my Tusken Raider kind of tattooing display. I really was excited for this, especially when we got a better version of the Tusken Raider recently in those four packs, and I just really enjoyed those scenes in the Book of Boba Fett. So here you can see all those Tuskens. We've got some of them there with modified hands from Marauders. We got Tusken Fett there, and then we got a different tribe over here on the right, kind of like the original Tusken Raiders that we saw in the more tan traditional like robes and then i put some of those extra chieftains in here so that tribe has their own chieftain then you can see some banthas in the back as well as this nice
nice 3D printed piece there of when they forged Boba's gaffy stick. And then over here, we've got a custom Jawa and the Lars homestead, which I'm planning to put this on a bigger shelf and give more space to the homestead and maybe, you know, add some more Jawas in there. But for now, this is how this is kind of set up. So that is pretty much the majority of that display area and just my collection room in general. So as you can see, this is definitely the main focal point back here of my entire collection. It's just a combination of different scenes being set up on different shelves, as well as a full-size diorama of a town and spaceport, which is just something that I really enjoy. And when I get to the new collection room, I'm definitely gonna elaborate and expand on the town itself and also probably build something in the center of the room, which will be like a uh, big, like landing port or something that is just like the centralized focus of this entire world that I'm kind of creating. So I look forward to making that and I hope that you will be here in the future to see that uh, build and just like all the different updates that I'm gonna be doing in the new collection room. But for now, I just wanted to share with you how my current collection room looks and hope that it inspires you in some way, whether you know, you're looking to find some different shelves or just you know, rearrange some things in your collection or you're inspired to build like, you know, a town or diorama. I really hope you, know, you get some ideas from this and just really enjoyed the video. So be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.